YouTube, what's going on? Exciting, exciting video today. We are gonna look at Greenlight's brand new 164 scale Chevrolet Caprice. They're gonna be doing the box Caprice in many, many years, um, generations of the box, um, probably going back to about 1980 all the way to 91 uh, when they changed it. So this is a 1990. This is the first time this car has been released that I know of. Um, the first release of this casting, the 1990 Chevy Caprice in NYPD livery. I love it. It's really, really cool. It's got the FSD um, graphics on it, which is the Fleet Services division of the NYPD. Um, generally, we've been older cars that uh, that the Fleet Services division. This would be like a loaner vehicle if they needed to fill in a car that was down in, in you know a certain precinct or area or of operations for the police department. So I got three of them and uh, let's take a look. A very exciting, a little bit of changes from Greenlight's uh, normal um, way of how they put the car together. Just some slight changes, uh, really, really cool stuff. So let's take a look. We're gonna look at the car right now. We're gonna do a nice little kind of walk around around it. Um, I do like the light bar on this car. It's very, very good. It's how the police car, the light bar was done in the late 80s, early 90s on these cars. So it's a 90 Caprice, so it's going to have the solid lights. Headlights were solid at this time. So it was still a, a two beam, basically. You had high and low beam on the outside, but it was all one piece on the front. Uh, earlier Caprices, basically prior to, I think it was like 87, they had quad headlamps. So this was the, the most modern the brick Caprices would get um, and the most powerful until they went to the, the next generation bubble in 91. Um, so this car is the most potent it was. They added fuel injection to the car in 89. You could still get in the civilian version, not the 9C1, which was the code for Chevrolet for the police package Caprice. But they started with a 4.3 V6, and then I had a 3.05 and a 3.50 V8. Um, but in these cars, you could get a 3.05 and get a, a, a 3.50 on police cars. Um, then, you know, a lot of the highway cars and the municipalities and government agencies usually in outside of heavy urban areas would get the 350 but a lot of these cars I think they had a 305 a lot of the times as well you know really need that you can get a really high potent car it was a fuel injected throttle body fuel injection uh, they added a roller cam from the uh, LT1 cars so Corvette and Camaro and the Basically, in the late 80s, early 90s, that's what they were using. So they had that roller cam set up on this block, uh, truck fuel injection with a bigger nozzle, and the best part is they went down to an uh, optional 342 rear gear with positive traction because what made the Caprice slow, while it did have low horsepower, was basically the, the very, very tall rear ends that they were running. Uh, they would run well under a three to one ratio on these cars in the civilian market they do 273s 240s that type of stuff so and what basically i had a really really good setup for the for the time this is about as good as you could get until they went to the lt1 so it was a 350 car four speed automatic with overdrive and a 342 axle and fuel injection the car was about as good as you could get <laughs> very very nice car We'll take a look. Let's get a look at this a little bit closer. I want to show you what they did with the grill. So this is going to be green lights. They'll try to find these cars, platform cars, like the Monaco and the Fury and stuff, where multiple years can be done with basically one body, and they would just change some trim items like the front and rear decks. This car is all cast. This front piece here is cast as part of the body. So they would change the headlight arrangement. 
these headlights, if you look at them closely in, in the, the camera here, you notice that it's a little bit inset in there. If you look at it through there, so this would have been flush on the real car, but these headlights are inset and they put like a heavy paint on it. Now it is solid, so it looks like one lens that it was back then. But they're using that recess there too when they split that headlight for the earlier 80s cars you'll be able to see the differentiation because again this car basically this front end was like i think 87 88 onward to 90 it was like that um but they did pay attention to the corner lamps too they were split amber on the bottom and then clear on the top so that's very nice this is separate plastic bumper so they can change the detail the bumper too and the grill because the grill did change um, from year to year. It's got the lower signals uh, that are clear. That's true. They weren't amber on the, on the real car. The only thing that's lacking, of course, is they always miss the, the side mirrors. Um, a lot of the NYPD cars use the dog dish poverty cap set up, set up not the full wheel covers, although some did. Uh, this is a good Caprice wheel cover. The only thing it's going to need is a black wash. As you can see, the slots in there are still silver. So that just needs a black wash with some paint. I'll do that later. Let's take a look at the graphics on the side. Again, you got FSD. That's Fleet Services Division. There's your 3100 serial. Or car number. Or, or precinct. I can't remember what it is. Someone can put the comments about that. You can see the bow ties on the wheel cover as well. These weren't chrome wheel covers, but they were, definitely weren't silver like this either. Basically, it was like a stainless or a, an aluminum setup of steel. It's like a spun steel that they pressed that Chevy did. So it had that finish, like a stainless finish on it. So close. It could have been. It's definitely not chrome. If you ever see these in real life that are chrome, they're always going to be aftermarket. General Motors never made a chrome wheel cover in that style anyway. There's the rear bumper, and you can see how they tampled the rear taillights, which is correct. This was all one solid lens that they did the division lines basically underneath the lens, and it was blacked out. Um, earlier Caprices, the box style, these division lines would actually be um, trim pieces, and they'd have three individual tail lamps in each part. They didn't do any license plate. They do have police there. They did Tampo Chevrolet and Caprice Classic. Basically, this body style, after General Motors downsized the full-size line in 1978, they went to a 77, or a 76 was the last year for the big Caprice. So 77 was the first year for downsizing uh, on General Motors. And what's cool about this car when they did the downsize they actually gained trunk space and rear leg room <laughs> because the other one was so inefficient with the size and 76 being one of the largest passenger cars chevrolet ever produced was the full-size caprice four-door in the station wagon uh it was neat when they went back to this box style the downsizing i mean they lost about four, four to six hundred pounds on the coupes and uh sedans and then <laughs> when they Went from the full size wagon to the to the this style downsized Caprice wagon lost upwards of eight hundred pounds so huge change um, for the cars really really huge very very excited to have this one you can see there simple base this this is serialized I all got four thousand serials I got three from the same place and they'll have about four thousand forty four hundred serial numbers in them. Who knows how many they actually will produce. I have not seen these. I got these online. Didn't want to miss these. Didn't want to take a chance of not finding them. But I think I will. Um, let me take a look here. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful car. So there's a second one too. Really no blemishes. And the other thing I was going to say about the difference in construction was... They're moving away from using the paneled um, windows, meaning that if you look at this Monaco or this Fury, that's a Fury, or this Crown Victoria wagon, if you look at this, 
If you look at the windows, they're always pushed in from the outside. Same thing here, pushed in from the outside. This, because really, on any of these cars, windows aren't flush with the body or the doors. They're always inset, they're always underneath. So, they actually, Greenlight finally made us one piece window tub, basically, like they are on Hot Wheels and all of those other type of cars. So not separate pieces, but one, just one big shell that drops in. And you can see how much of it improve the clarity now that they're not gluing these pieces in or having glue around here it's just being riveted on the roof and see how clear the windows are and in addition to that if you look at the relief from this angle you can see how deep each of the pillars go in against the glass so that's a lot more realistic looking and hopefully if they're going to do a crown victoria of the era or the dodge diplomat Grand Fury cars, hopefully they will, because they were able to do this pretty good. Um, hopefully they carry that same type of window construction. They still got it flush on the windshield, which was true. That's how they were back then. But this side had that inset. So when you look at this car, it's very, very satisfying. It's only 164 scale. I mean, it's, it's really good. So very excited to have it. I'm going to do a short little video on this vehicle today. And you can see that it fits right in with my uh, blue and whites that I have. And more to come. We got more to come. We got a lot of green light coming in. Hopefully their uh, stuff is coming in from overseas. All the new releases. But I hope you enjoyed this one. The new Chevy Caprice casting from green light in 164 scale. Really, really cool. Let's take a look what, before we sign off. So what it looks like in the package. Series 32. Look at that. Keep this one in the package. This one had an even serial number, so I kept it in the package. And those are going to be the vehicles that are in Series 32. So... Nothing groundbreaking. A couple new castings. The 19 Silverado just recently came out. And then we got a cool Crown Vic. I'll probably find that hanging on the pegs. We got a 74 Monaco. Big girl. Uh, Quebec. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and subscribing. More to come. Till next time.